Our gang is Hexy. Welcome back to the East Front. Guderian's Blitzkrieg. Using the first rules edition. Alright, so we have played two turns. But with this turn record chart, it's actually four turns in a way. Because there's each player gets two, I guess we'll say two phases or two turns every game turn. Alright, so we are, we just finished up 4, four October 41. Alright. Now, let's take a quick look here at the casualties to see what's going on because the typical German breakout fashion, well, maybe. Pretty sure my battery's only well, going to go down. So, anyhow, we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. What is going on here? Pretty sure I'm not out of juice. Uh, anyhow. Yeah, I guess maybe I am. So there is your Russian casualty stacks right there. And your German, of course. Most of the Germans are recon, except for the poor old 4th Panzer Division. They really got swatted good. They, Like I said, they got out of supply, got trapped, had to retreat from a Soviet armor attack, and off they went. Uh, Air Force for the Russians uh, overrun an air base that had no active aircraft on it. And literally about six aircraft were sitting on the ground, just got destroyed. So they're out of the picture. All right, taking a look down here in the south. What is going on here? Well, we're going to take it off the stand again because I got to figure out what's up with that. All right. So let's take it off the stand. Be bobbly here. All right, down in the south here. So that Panzer Division 19. Ninth Panzer that got stuck out there by itself, one out of supply. I, they held on. I moved troops in around it to sort of shield it because I didn't want to lose another big stack of Panzer units there. So, so now the Germans are all out there doing their thing. Um, I tried to be a little more reserved on supply spending this time for combat. Matter of fact, I don't think I did but one combat down here. Now, on the other hand, as I move up the line, go up here towards... Uh, well, we're not going to say that name. Whatever this town is right here. Svesk. All right. You can see what the Germans have done here. They have just broken that hole wide open. Almost wide open. Uh, but the Soviets flooded everything they possibly could using rail movement, whatever they could to get troops down here. But the Germans Germans are chewing them up. So, and I'm, I, like I said, I'm not, I don't know the, the reinforcement schedule. Um, I only look at it when the turn comes around to see, you know, what, the Soviets are going to have to, to throw into the jaws of this German advance here. Um, and of course, right now, this isn't the only place that I need to send reinforcements to. There's other places they're going to need to go. All right. And because of this down here, as we move north towards Bryansk, now I'm not doing anything really as far as the Germans, as far as attacking Bryansk. I got troops sitting there and I'll probably start to move a few more in there to get ready. But as this southern portion starts to grow, or move to the northeast, these guys are going to end up in, in trouble. Now, I remember talking about my plan was to, that this would be my pivot point for the defense, and then the defense would go that way, towards Voronezh. But if you move up the line more to the north, the Germans have taken Spademansk, and they are breaking through that. So now I've got two holes that the Russians have got to throw troops at and plug up. And like I said, I don't know what the reinforcements are. Maybe they get 50 armies this next turn and they can all roll up in there, but I doubt it. And then even up here towards this other town, Vyazma, uh, you can see what's going on there. The Germans have pushed these Russians. Now, I did have to pull a couple Russians away from here and take them or down to the south. And you've got all these 8-1 militia or just bad infantry units there. I put them in uh, the defenses, the improved positions there, the hedgehogs that they're not going to do much. And the Germans have just tossed aside all the armor and, the, and most of the infantry divisions that were sitting up here in uh, in front of the Osma or to the west of the Osma. So that's the push right now that's going on. We're getting ready to start the third turn here and we'll roll for supply. Uh, if the Germans get a big supply roll, then they'll be attack happy. If they don't, well, I'll have to focus on where I'm going to use it at and I'll have to think about that one. Uh, Uncle Joe, still sitting back there in my cafe. I need to get back there and throw him out. All right. And there's really nothing in the rear right now for the Russians. They got a little buildup going on over here. 
But a lot of that is Katusha's and just artillery. So I, I really got to hope that the reinforcement schedule for this turn uh, drop a bunch of stuff in Varnish and rail it to the front here as fast as I can. Um, good thing about this, there are a lot of railroads on this. You can get to almost every corner of the map with it. So um, the, the German railhead has moved up here to Lagif, all right, or Lagaf, depending on which country you're from. And uh, so that's good. Uh, maybe if I can push them over to Kursk. Right there, that'll give me a good center point, and then maybe up to Urel if that happens. Uh, the railhead up here, I think I moved the guy. Yeah, I switched him down here, going through Yelnia, because this is opened up here, and that's going to be a good rail and road hub right there. And I think that this pressure here is going to force Bryansk to have problems, and it's going to force the Osma to have problems too. We got to, you know, Soviets, we got to keep the Germans out of Moscow. Although they don't, they don't need that for victory conditions. Uh, the Soviets really need to try to hang on to some of these upper cities up here or towns, whatever you want to call them, and not allow the Germans to get 40 victory points. All right, so here's our progression with Guderian's Blitzkrieg. We're playing the campaign, and we're getting ready to start turn three. So to me, that's like starting turn five. All right, let's get this thing up so you all can see what's going on. You've seen little things here that, might be a plus to one side or the other. Let me know. If you got a little strategy tip, throw it in there. We'll see if we can apply it. All right. Talk to y'all soon.